What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we're talking about Hidden Fates again. Uh, two days. Um, so excited for this to come out. I am really hoping that I can find some uh, some product on Friday, and we're going to announce the winner of the giveaway on Friday morning as well. Um, check out a video from Sunday if you've yet to enter that. And oh gosh, so excited! Hopefully, I can get some product to actually send a, some to the winner as well. And if we get enough, maybe we'll do the other one as well, a separate giveaway that we'll launch on the weekend, and you know we'll announce the winner shortly after. Um, so, a couple things to talk about the the full set list is out for Hidden Face, so we're going over that. But first, one thing that I probably want to do tomorrow is this is the Pokemon TCG Reddit. I was confused because I think there's multiple Pokemon TCG Reddits, and I knew the post I was looking for, but it took forever to find it. And oh yeah, uh, apparently, according to Slow Freak Twenty One, sometimes Walmart <laughs> already has things stocked. Oh man, that's crazy. And unfortunately, where I where I live right now, like there there isn't a Walmart that's like close enough for me to drive to, or like traffic would just be super bad. Um, but maybe tomorrow I'll just call like the local Target or something to see if there's any available. Um, but yeah, just going through the comment comments that I, I it's definitely your mileage may vary. Um, but yeah, like. Hey, maybe give give a local store a call. Just see if you can't get any product <laughs> that might already be on the shelves. So definitely do that. But yeah, Jeff, Friday morning, I think before I go to work, I'll go to the Target and see if I can pick some up. And let's go to PokeBeach.com as always. And this time, not Water Pokemon Master Stefanka. Not sure that's how you pronounce it, but I do like that. The uh, this is the Vulpix Ditto. So the full set, um, none of the, very few, little of this is actually new information, and uh, but there's a couple things I do want to hit now that we do have the full set. Um, you know, I never really took much time to appreciate the stuff that's in the family box. I actually bought some of these for the Japanese set, but I never opened it. So I never looked at the cards. But uh, I've talked about this before. They look super, I don't know, kiddish, cartoon. I'm not sure what the right word is, but like I feel like I can just scroll through it and tell like, oh yeah, this is the um, the one from that set. Uh, same thing here, same thing here. It's pretty obvious to me, or maybe just because I'm very familiar with the Ultra Shiny set. Uh, something about the artwork just feels very... Maybe it's the sh shading or the coloring. Um, yep, so the, all these, they, they will be new cards to me, so I do want to pull those, uh, even though they're not the shinies. And uh, I think there's a couple more. This Mewtwo does look pretty good, I will admit. So I do want to get my hands on some of those. Yeah, then we got the Brock's and Brock and Misty cards. Eh, not too excited about that. I think those are Clefable. Yep. Um, but all right, here we go into the. Uh, I mean, we knew about this one, but you know, I just want to hit like some stuff that wasn't in Ultra Shiny, wasn't in that family collection box, wasn't in the Brock and Misty gym gym decks. And so we got the Legendary Birds. This card does look awesome. And then we have some other stuff to color this. And then some new trainers as well. We're gonna start with the full art. Oh wait, nope, the full art birds. Uh, this, uh, actually we'll, we'll, we'll come back to this card because obviously it looks nice. But here we go, this is one I definitely want. Giovanni's Exile. So it was one of the few supports that didn't get like a full art printing when it came out, I think it was on Broken Bonds. And so it's really cool that we finally get it. Uh, full art Giovanni. And um, I, I think I did a video on this a long time ago, but I just really appreciate this art for Jesse and James. The way they're just like falling over each other, like it's so perfect to like their characters, how they just always mess up their plans and stuff like that. Um, the meal is kind of like fainted in the background. Wawa Fett's always just making noise. Um, I understand there's not enough space for like Arbuck or Weezing, but Part of me wishes like they were also in there, some you know messing up, uh, just mucking around. And then we got the Rainbow Birds, and you know I, I have mixed emotions about the Rainbow Rare at this point. I feel like I'm getting kind of bored of it. Uh, it there are a number of instances where I feel like it takes away from the artwork a little bit, and I feel like this is a good example uh, compared to like the full art. I wonder if I can. 
Oh, oh, oh. Right, whatever. Um, so I feel like this card looks so cool. Like the white background is actually really nice. Uh, just because all, now all the birds really pop out. And But then compared to this one, like this one might be the the most sought after one. Like technically the rarest. But uh, no, like this just doesn't do that much for me anymore. I feel like when the uh, Burning Shadows Charizard like that, it was like, you know, really popped. But nowadays, like I feel less so. And uh, one one thing that's nice is that the stained glass one that comes with the elite trainer box, so it's super easy to get. You don't have to pull it. Uh, that that one's by far the best one. Um, and I feel like that even adds to like why the rainbow rare is losing its attractiveness to me. Just because like the alternate arts, I feel like are almost better, always better with Dream League, the introduction introduction of these character rares, like. Nah, forget about the rainbow. Give me the character rare. That thing, those look so cool. Um, and then, yeah, so then here comes all the shinies. So none of this is new. I think this is essentially like the um, ultra shiny lineup. And then I'm not sure if it's just because I didn't collect them, but they do have some new trainers. Just give me one second. Yeah, such a long list. Uh, and, you know, so like... I'm pretty sure I don't have this in, I think it's just because it wasn't printed in Ultra Shiny, but we got the Aether Foundation employee, um, the lady, and you know, I feel like uh, one one downside is like these cards aren't that good, like, oh gosh, I, I hit on this so many times, but man, Guzma's gone, what a waste, so much loss, I, I really want to know why this set is so late, if it was to make sure we can get the birds and stuff, like, you know, I feel like that was a miss on the Pokemon company side to take so long to print this. Uh, but I am excited about being able to get an extra stab at these full art um, stadium cards. I actually do like this Mount Cornet one. I really want this one. Trying to Punishment, I feel like is going to be a good card all the way until it gets rotated out. The gold cards, I actually don't have any English gold cards, the silver cards or anything like that, so it'll be cool to have a shot to pick up some of these. Um, Tapu Bulu is probably like the least popular one, Tapu Fini is just okay, but I do like how they do like, you know, it's just like the shading. Um, Tapu Coco, ah, I do like Tapu Coco, you used him a lot when I was playing Pikaram and PTCGO, so I definitely want this guy, you know, I have a, has some sentimental value for me, and then, ah, you know, I. This one is like the best example of like, oh my gosh, why are you printing this now? This card would be so popular. In fact, I still think it's going to be popular. The fact that, um, but only like a fraction of its potential if this came out like a year ago. Uh, so I'm, I'm not sure if I'm ever going to get over that to be honest. So I'm going to keep bringing it up, and let's just see if there's any cool, cool comments. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one right there. Uh, I agree, Swampert Full Art. Goodbye wallet. <laughs> Yep, Giovanni's Exile Full Art. Yeah, super excited to have that. Um, and uh, yeah. So I think the biggest thing for me is those new uh, Giovanni Full Art team, the Jesse and James Full Art. Those are definitely going to be anything that wasn't in Ultra Shiny. Uh, I definitely want at least one of just to fill the collection. Uh, just because, you know, I feel like I kind of already have the other ones, although obviously it's just the Japanese printing, so um, obviously I want to get like a whole bunch of Charizards and Mewtwo's and stuff like that, but um, definitely one of everything of the ones that were not in Ultra Shiny. Anyway, uh, so that's it for this video. Um, have a tons of videos to like put out like it's just because I did some recordings and then I got my Dream, Dream League boxes and you know, I don't, I feel like uh, I want to get much of it out before we're going to be doing Hidden Fades for a little for quite some time. Assuming I can find some product. Um, but yeah, let me know in your comments down below if there's anything that's not a shiny that you're interested in finding and picking up and what is it that you're looking for the most. Uh, let me know. Again, for myself, is that Giovanni and Jesse and James. But um, as always, guys, thanks for watching. That's it for today. I'm Wanted Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.